Hi everyone. Welcome to our video on the new Pro Tools 2022.4. With this latest release, Avid has introduced something for everyone. From a new version of Pro Tools called Pro Tools Artist, a rebranding of the Pro Tools software to call it Pro Tools Studio, and the new Pro Tools Flex package, there's something for everybody, including Dolby Atmos support, a new configurable keyboard customization options, and much, much more. One of the biggest changes is the addition of the new Pro Tools Artist software. This is an entry-level Pro Tools software for people who are just starting out or don't need all of the full-fledged features of the regular Pro Tools software or Pro Tools Ultimate. Pro Tools Artist is offered at $99 a year annually or $9.99 a month as a subscription-based service. You can only get this as a subscription. They are not offering a perpetual license for this. It gives you the ability to have up to 32 audio tracks and 32 instrument tracks. You can have 16 simultaneous audio inputs and you get a full-fledged plugin package with over 100 different plugins, including all the virtual instruments and the latest virtual instruments called Groove Cell and Synth Cell, which we'll get to in a bit. For anybody that's been using Pro Tools software up until now, you'll see a change to the naming of the software. It is now called Pro Tools Studio. Along with the change in the name, they've added a whole bunch of new features, such as doubling the amount of audio tracks up to 512, the addition of surround sound mixing and Dolby Atmos and Ambisonics, advanced automation features that were previously only found in Pro Tools Ultimate, and it also includes the new Groove Cell and Synth Cell virtual instruments that come as part of the plugin bundle. For those of you that have been using Pro Tools Ultimate software, it's still called Pro Tools Ultimate, but now it's part of a much bigger bundle called Pro Tools Flex. This also includes some other third-party software that comes with the Pro Tools Ultimate license. Let's take a look at these new Pro Tools software offerings side by side to see what makes them different from one another. As you can see, they all include Celimony Melodyne software. It comes with the Melodyne Essential software and the Pro Tools Ultimate or Pro Tools Flex bundle as it's now known also includes something called Soundflow Cloud Avid Edition. Pro Tools Artist comes with over a hundred plugins called the Artist Bundle. While this doesn't have quite as many plugins as the Pro Tools Studio or Pro Tools Flex, it's definitely more than enough to get you going. It has all of the software instruments, EQs, dynamics, reverbs, delays, and so on and so forth. And it also includes the new Groove Cell and Synth Cell software. All three versions include the Inner Circle Rewards with the, your annual subscription. The biggest difference is in the capabilities. Pro Tools Artist software gives you a total of 32 audio tracks. 32 instrument tracks, 64 MIDI tracks, and 32 auxiliary tracks and or routing folders. It does not include VCA tracks and unfortunately does not have support for video. The Pro Tools Studio software has been increased to have up to 512 tracks of audio, 512 instrument tracks, 1024 MIDI tracks, 128 auxiliary tracks and routing folders, 128 VCA tracks, 64 master faders, and the ability to have one video track in the session. Pro Tools Ultimate hasn't changed that much. It does, however, support 2,048 total audio tracks, 512 instrument tracks, 1,024 MIDI tracks, 1,024 auxiliary tracks and routing folders with 128 VCA tracks, up to 512 master faders, and up to 64 video tracks. But when you're dealing with video, Remember that you can only have one video track that is the active output. The other 63 are going to be in the background to allow you to edit and do basic comping between them if necessary. When it comes to recording, Pro Tools Artist gives you the ability to have up to 16 channels of audio record from your audio interface. Pro Tools Studio now has been increased to 64 channels of input from 32. And Pro Tools Ultimate software can support up to 256 inputs simultaneously via Core Audio or Osio or 192 via the HDX engine. 64 channels are available if you're using Pro Tools Ultimate with the HD native hardware. One of the biggest changes in the software lineup is the addition of surround sound mixing and Dolby Atmos to regular Pro Tools Studio software. Before this was a feature only of Pro Tools Ultimate, but now it has been brought down into the regular Pro Tools line of products. This, however, does not translate over to Pro Tools Artist. Pro Tools Artist can only mix in stereo. Not only has Avid introduced a new version of the Pro Tools software with this latest release, but they've also improved the usability of all Pro Tools software across the board. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these new features. The biggest change is the addition of new customizable keyboard shortcuts. If you go up to the Setup menu in Pro Tools and come down towards the bottom right above Preferences, you'll find the new Keyboard Shortcut Setup option. It's also Control, Shift, and the letter K on a Mac. It's Start, Shift, K on a PC. This new window lets you search for existing shortcuts and it lets you filter things out so that way you can find a specific shortcuts for different functions. It also allows you to set your own keyboard shortcuts for whatever feature it is. So one of the things you can do is you can actually search by a specific keyword. So let's say I want to see all the keyboard shortcuts associated with new tracks. So if I just come up here and type in new track, it filters everything out to show me the keyboard shortcuts that match that keyword search. Another thing you can do is you can actually search based on specific keyboard shortcuts like the shift key, the control key option, and command key. This way you can say, look, I want to see all of the different shortcuts that use the shift and option key together. So it filters everything out to show you just ones that use shift and option in combination with any other key. Or I can search for ones that just use the control and the command key or control option command, or control shift option command, whatever combination you want. You can also filter things out based on the command keyboard focus mode. So that way you can see all the different keyboard shortcuts associated with command keyboard focus. And for any of these shortcuts, you can actually come in here and you can add your own keyboard shortcut. So for instance, let's say add chord symbol which is one of the things that does not have a current keyboard shortcut. Just click on the actual function, double click on it, and now using your keyboard on your computer, just press the keys that you want to associate with this new function. So let's say in my case, Shift, Control, Option, Command, C. So now that has been added to the list of current shortcuts that I can use. And just so that way I can make sure there's no current conflicts with anything else, I can click this conflicts button to see any shortcuts that might conflict with other shortcuts. Now any of these changes that you make, you can actually save. So you can save several different sets of keyboard shortcuts by coming up here to the shortcut library and choose save settings as. Let's go ahead and just give ours a name. And at the same time, you can also embed five different sets of keyboard shortcuts using the presets at the top. Once you make a change, just hold down the Command key on a Mac or Control on a PC and click on the number that you want to embed this preset into. So this way, if I start off my session with my standard keyboard shortcuts and I want to quickly go back to one of the five that I've previously saved, I just click on the number and it recalls those keyboard shortcuts. Or at the same time, you can go in and you can select from the list that you've saved if you need more than those five as the presets. Once you're happy with the changes that you've made, go ahead and just hit the OK button. And now you have these new shortcuts as part of your session. So if I wanted to add a chord symbol change, just put my cursor where I want to add a chord symbol change. In my case, hold down Control, Option, Command, Shift, and the letter C. And this brings up the chord change dialog window. Another substantial change to Pro Tools that affects everybody, regardless of what version you're using, is the addition of the new software instruments, a drum sequencer named Groove Cell and a polyphonic synthesizer named Synth Cell. Let's go ahead and take a look at these real quick. So here's Groove Cell on the left, and here's Synth Cell on the right. Groove Cell is modeled after a more traditional hardware sampler sequencer with 16 pads that you can trigger. And this does give you the ability to actually load up your own audio file samples. By clicking this little plus button in each of the pads, you have the ability to search across your hard drive and find audio file samples of your own that you might want to load in here. Let's go ahead and load up a quick sample from my 909. Now each of the different pads has the ability to change things such as filters, such as the volume, pan, pitch, and whatnot, and it also has a built-in sequencer. So you can flip over to the sequencer and you can see it's a sequencer matrix where it has all 16 pads laid out. 
And you can use these pads to actually build a sequence this way if you want. One of the best things about this is that each of these different pads has the ability to route to individual outputs. It has an output selector over here that lets you route each pad to up to 16 individual outputs, which means that you can actually route them individually into the input of 16 individual audio tracks. So that way you can record the entire sequence in one shot to audio. One of the best features of this is that if you do choose to use the internal sequencer, you have the ability to export the sequence as either MIDI information or you can export it as audio. By hitting the export button up here at the top, it gives you the option of what you want to export, whether it's MIDI, individual lanes, audio, or the actual sample itself. So if I want to export the entire sequence as a MIDI data, I can hit this export button, and then when it becomes MIDI over here, I can just click and drag it down to an existing instrument or MIDI track, and there's my sequence in the background. If I want to export this as audio, I can choose to just hit the export audio button, and then click on the audio button and drag it down to create either a new audio track or drag and drop it onto an existing audio track. In addition to Groove Cell, you also get Synth Cell, which is the new polyphonic synthesizer. This has two oscillators, two filters, a mod matrix, and a built-in arpeggiator. Down here at the bottom, you can switch between the arpeggiator or the built-in keyboard, so that way you can audition sounds. Or going to the arpeggiator allows you to do things like change the rate of arpeggiation, swing, gate, what mode of arpeggiation you choose, and how many octaves of, of arpeggiation. SynthCell also has built-in effects. So if you go to the Effects tab, you have options of reverb, modulation, delay, and distortion that you can apply to the sounds to create your own custom sounds. Now, you also have the ability to change the max polyphony all the way up to 32 notes of polyphony. As you can see, this latest release of Pro Tools 2022.4 has something for everybody. With the introduction of Pro Tools Artist, the upgrading capabilities of Pro Tools Studio in terms of audio tracks and the ability to do surround sound and Dolby Atmos mixing, all the way up to the Pro Tools Flex license, which gives you Pro Tools Ultimate along with other software added in. If you're interested in finding out more about these versions of Pro Tools or you're interested in doing any kind of training and certification on Pro Tools, give us a call at 888-277-0457 or visit our website at protoolstraining.com.